Let's start by breaking down the term pulmonary hypertension. Pulmonary refers to the lungs, and hypertension means high blood pressure. Blood pressure, by definition, is the force exerted by the circulating blood on the walls of arteries in our body. So basically, pulmonary hypertension is force or pressure exerted by blood on the wall of the pulmonary arteries, or arteries of the lungs. Since, its arterial blood pressure is also called pulmonary arterial hypertension, or PAH. So, what is the normal blood pressure in pulmonary arteries? MPAP, or mean pulmonary arterial pressure. Normal mean pulmonary artery pressure is 14 plus or minus 3 mmHg, with an upper limit of 20 mmHg while resting or not performing any vigorous activities, but it can go up to 25 mm of mercury, and it's normal. But, if the MPAP exceeds this range and goes above 25 mm of mercury, it is called pulmonary hypertension. As we know, unlike the rest of the body, pulmonary arteries carry blood from the right heart to the lungs. This is one reason pulmonary hypertension can be dangerous. The blood vessels in the lungs are narrowed, blocked, or destroyed. The damage slows blood flow through the lungs, and blood pressure in the lung arteries rises. The heart must work harder to pump blood through the lungs. The extra effort eventually causes the heart muscle to become weak and fail. Now, let's have a look at signs and symptoms of pulmonary hypertension. The signs and symptoms of pulmonary hypertension develop slowly. You may not notice them for months or even years. Symptoms get worse as the disease progresses. Pulmonary hypertension may be present with the trio of cardiopulmonary signs. So what is this trio? It includes three signs, which indicate right heart failure as well, cyanosis, tachycardia, and edema. Cyanosis is due to dyspnea or breathlessness. Tachycardia, or rapid heartbeats, occurs as the heart tries to beat more and more to supply adequate blood supply to the lungs. Swelling in the ankles, legs, and eventually the belly area can be found in patients with pulmonary hypertension. There is also the possibility of having chest pain and fatigue and even syncope or fainting spells in these patients. Now let's understand what causes pulmonary hypertension. Let's start with the basics. The heart has two upper chambers atria and two lower chambers ventricles. Each time blood passes through the heart, the lower right chamber, or right ventricle, pumps blood to the lungs through a large blood vessel, or pulmonary artery. In the lungs, the blood releases carbon dioxide and picks up oxygen. The blood typically flows easily through blood vessels in the lungs, pulmonary arteries, capillaries, and veins to the left side of the heart. However, changes in the cells that line the pulmonary arteries can cause the walls of the arteries to become stiff, swollen, and thick. These changes may slow down or block blood flow through the lungs, causing pulmonary hypertension. In the next video, we will talk about the types of pulmonary hypertension along with diagnosis and treatment option to control it, so please subscribe and support us to learn more, thank you.